But right now, I want to know, are you a cold call believer? Because we are about to have a great debate here. <laughs> are you a believer in cold calls? That's what we have to know from you right now. Uh, Kim, when we started talking about this, I was like, we're talking about cold outreach. And every time we talk about cold outreach, cold calling and tactics around cold calling are important for us to deliver. You have a different opinion. Talk to me about cold calls in your world and why you feel the way that you feel. Yeah, so we're not cold callers at Sam Sales. We haven't done a single cold call. Sam McKenna, our founder and CEO, has never made a single cold call, and she's obviously smashed lots of records and has been to President's Club tons of times. Um, so we've not really found it to be effective with the teams that we work with. It's a mm -hmm. lot of time calling to get voicemails. Um, so I'm not saying it's for everybody. I'm not saying blanketly no one should be cold calling. Oh. I think that it definitely has a place and there's ICPs right. where it works really, really well. I do think too, that if you're going to be cold calling, it's it's difficult. You, you really need to train those BDRs, right? If they do get someone on the phone, they need to understand how to run a cold call. Mm. And what I see often happens is leaders giving them like a sheet and saying, go forth and conquer. <laughs> Right. <laughs> here's your list here's your laptop yeah. here's your phone go get them <laughs> yeah go get them i'm getting cold called right now y'all <laughs> yeah to live live stream it <laughs> but yeah it's we're not really enabling enabling these bdrs to be able to do that properly i mean it's a big responsibility i also think you know if i if i'm going to get a conversation with a prospect i want to be the one to have it not a bdr like as an ae i want to be the one that's on the phone with them and talking to them so um, so that's where the challenge is. I think there's not enough education. There's not enough practice. There's not enough to, to really do these well. And then the mm. return on investment is quite small because of how many you have to do to get a response. All of that said, some ICPs are really good, especially if your ICP is not over email. They're not on LinkedIn. This is the lever you have. All that said, voicemails, trade on voicemails, write a killer email to combine with that voicemail, point them to the email from the voicemail, and you're going to see much more return on those calls. I love it. Uh, but there is always another side of the coin. So <laughs> Lindsay, talk to me about cold calling in your world. Now your ICP is completely different, but yeah. let's talk about what's going on in your cold called life and talk about the things that you've been training on. Sure. Um, it's funny because I used to be social selling, modern day selling only. If people on this webinar are from my Citrix days, they would be shocked to hear that I am pro cold calling because I was the anti cold caller back then. What I have found is that the last couple companies I've led, 80% of our meetings were coming from social selling, 20% from cold call. Now it's flipped to the fact where almost 60 to 70% of our meetings where I work now are coming from cold calls. And to Kim's point, I mean, if you train the right way and you have those customer stories that you can rattle off and not sound scripted, if you have everything you need to know about the prospect, you can have a meaningful conversation. The biggest part of it though is qualification. So we've implemented a, a method called faint. Yep. Um, it's similar to bands, but it's funds, authority, interest, need, and tech stack. That's the T, which is different. I like that better because it allows me to understand who are comp who who we're going up against competition in the tech stack, but also what kind of partnership uh, opportunities do we have with the people that they're also working with as well? So we have seen tremendous success. Um, it is challenging at first to get started when you have never done a cold call. It's terrifying, and the best way I like to coach is by doing and showing the team. And yesterday I posted something on LinkedIn about me screaming from the rooftops that it's not dead and. Uh, a former colleague of mine said, you know, I remember Lindsay doing cold calls in the room with us. And, and that was something that really stuck to me because I'm glad that they remember that. 